Alright guys, I am back tonight. I'm going to talk a little bit about Flex Wheeler. Now Flex Course making a comeback 2017 Fitness Olympia, I believe he's competing in. I haven't followed this much. Now there are videos all over hell about this. Uh, but he's getting thousands of views on Flex Wheeler's forearms and how they look weird. Uh, you know, and right, I mean they do have some strange look, look to them. Uh, Flex has very bubbless triceps uh, and biceps and then and then his elbows are very pointy so it tends to kind of make his forearms look you know even smaller probably than they really are but uh, nevertheless you know there's been some things pointed out about some bumps here and there and, you now forearms of course I mean are genetics a lot and flex had some of the best genetics in the history of bodybuilding and that's why I'm making this video I'm going to talk about it uh, Flex, of course, uh, was one of the legendary bodybuilders in the 90s. Now, these 90s guys run into all kinds of problems. A lot of them didn't make it out of the 90s and 2000s. A lot of them did some things, I don't know, diuretics, whatever it was. Now, as far as genetics go, these are some of the most genetically gifted people uh, who, to ever compete in bodybuilding. The, the class was so deep. Flex was a part of that, uh, needless to say. Uh, but, you know, of course, you had the kidney issues uh, brought on by, you know, who knows what, but... And whether or not, you know, Flex uses, uh, well, that's not Flex, I don't think. Anyway, a uh, different picture of him there. But Flex, you know, there's rumors going around right now that Flex has uh, PMMMA, you know, the same stuff Rich Piana had in his arms. Uh, in his arms. I don't know about that. I don't, I don't really care, I guess. They all use some shit, so. But Flex is definitely one of the most genetically gifted people people that ever walked on this planet and there's, stu there's a study that actually proved this uh, i'm going to talk a little bit about uh, flex wheeler and the myostatin mutation now we all know myostatin uh, can kind of determine how big and muscular you can get we all saw, saw the ball with the you know back like i don't know 15 years ago or so this was a big thing they were trying to find a supplement that would turn off the myostatin uh, you know, limitation that, that we all have and they had this bowl that, you know, they showed a bowl that was huge and muscular that had no myostatin uh, inhibition. Now, Flex was a participant in a study uh, conducted in collaboration with the Department of Human Genetics and the University of Pittsburgh, where 62 men made unusually large gains in muscle mass in response to strength training. Uh, extreme responders. Flex was one of only nine extreme responders that had a very rare myostatin mutation. Now again, myostatin is the gene that limits muscle growth. Specifically, Flex had the rarest form of myostatin mutation at the exon 2 position uh, on the gene. This simply means that Flex has a much larger number of muscle fibers compared to other subjects uh, or the normal population. Now we believe that these are very are the very first myostat mutation findings in humans and the results of this landmark study have been uh, submitted for publication. Flex was also found to have a very unusual type of IGF-1 gene. In fact, Flex was the only participant in the study that did not have a match. All the other extreme responders had at least three other subjects with a matching IGF-1 gene. Now, uh, based on his Flex's unique genetic profile, they're going to publish a scientific paper that reveals his complete genotype uh, in specific detail. The publication of his remarkable genetic data should generate an enormous amount of media exposure. What this simply means is, uh, well, this is from Victor Conte, and also take that with a grain of salt. We all know who he is, you know, busted. But he's a smart dude. Now, that means simply that Flex is one of the most genetically freaky people to ever walk the planet. So just top shelf genetics uh, undoubtedly so and, and you can hear you know guys like Dorian Yates talked about it they had to work harder uh, to beat you know guys like Flex Wheeler who was not known for his overwhelming work ethic now, I'm not saying he didn't train hard and harder than I ever have harder than most people but as far as you know being a professional bodybuilder and a lot of them you know aren't known for training heavy etc etc but in comparison to Dorian Yates he certainly was not a hard trainer uh, and when I Google, you know, Flex of today, uh, I can't really find out. There, you can go online, though, and these guys got pictures of his forearms and all this other shit, you know, with... Uh, here's a picture of him. It's pretty small, but 13, 34, 51. His arms do have a weird-ass look, but they, you know, when you age, uh, you know, those those forearms and those arms just start to look a little weird. Uh, 
So they just don't respond to weight training like these tend to shrink uh, pretty easy from overtraining. But, but nevertheless, Flex Wheeler, one of the most genetically gifted uh, individuals to ever live. And, uh, the, you know, the, there's scientific proof, <laughs> uh, you know, there's studies that prove this. So, uh, you know, Flex Wheeler unfortunately had the kidney issues in it, and it's, it's too bad because. You know, it's just one of those things, but uh, sometimes uh, small things break down giants. So, and that, and that's, you know, kind of what happened uh, in this regard. So, although it's not kidney failure isn't a small thing, but think little things that he was doing added up to kidney failure. And then, you know, he's in the situation that he, that he was in. And, and thank God he made it. Uh, but we'll see how he does in the Olympia this year as far as fitness. Uh, you know, I don't predict a very high finish for flex but man to do what he's doing with you know somebody else's kidneys i mean that's pretty cool so i wish him luck and uh you know we'll see what happens